every NFL game starting with last Thursday, they can all be explained in three words. So let's start with the Panthers and the Steelers. The f- Don't need Le'Veon. Forget the fact the Steelers won by 30, and their offense was absolutely flawless. The bigger issue here is Le'Veon Bell has offended teammates, and do you realize that James Conner, who nobody knew about outside of Pittsburgh before the year started, now has 10 rushing touchdowns. That's more than Le'Veon Bell has ever had in a season. The little grinder, the little guy we didn't know about, has made it so Le'Veon, they don't need him. Uh, Next up, Patriots-Titans. Happens every year. Tom Brady has 23 double-digit losses in his career, and he's been playing for about 18. So he has about one and a third to one and a half of these every year. Yesterday, off a bunch of big wins, their offensive line was manhandled. By the way, in the seasons where Brady has suffered his two ugliest losses, 15 years ago against the Bills and four years ago against the Chiefs, both years they went on to win the Super Bowl. This ain't no big thing. Next up, Lions-Bears. It ain't Trubisky. Chicago's defense is number one in the NFC. Okay, number four in the NFL. They're number one in turnover differential. Listen, it's a little like Dak. Dak wins last night and everybody freaks out. Well, they had the running game and the defense and they had the lead. Bottom line in Chicago, Matt Nagy is the less well-known version of the Ram Sean McVay. McVay's got stars offensively. Left tackle, running back, quarterback, receiver. What the Bears are doing right now with Mitch Trubisky, to me, it's the story of the year. I, 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 I talked to people inside the NFL a year ago that thought maybe the kid was a bust. Trubisky this year, 22 DDs, seven picks, and a quarterback rating over 101. I don't think it's him, though. Next up, Bills, Jets. Bulls fired yet? The Jets have lost four straight. Sam Darnold left. It wasn't Sam Darnold. Josh McCown came in, and uh, he was awful. Quarterback rating of 39. Listen, the parking lot got empty by halftime. The team quit. You got to remember, Buffalo's fourth quarterback this year, Matt Barkley, came in and dropped a 40-burger on him. This was about effort. Again, I feel bad for Todd Bowles and Steve Wilkes in Arizona, but these young defensive coordinators feel like flip phones in 2018. They and the GM should go with them. They have no offensive players. Left tackle, need a new one. Right tackle, need a new one. Center average, running backs below average. Tight end, good, should be a third tight end. Wide receivers, a bunch of dudes, just guys. Next up, Falcons, Browns. Woke up dangerous. Listen, it was a perfect setting for a rookie quarterback. Played with a lead against a bad defense. The running game was humming for Cleveland. And Baker Mayfield, who's got a lot of swagger, only had to throw the ball 20 times, tied for the least in the NFL. Never forget when Big Ben came into the NFL. Remember that first year with Big Ben? They didn't throw the football. Remember Phillip Rivers' first year in San Diego? They didn't throw the football. He he attempted 17 throws. This is how you manage a rookie quarterback. Duke Johnson and Nick Chubb are tremendously talented running backs. They got a lead. That defense is the real deal. They had very few third downs. They didn't ask a ton, and they asked him to be accurate. This play right now you're watching was his best of the day. But uh, after the game, he was all fired up. Uh, Next up, Cardinals Chiefs. Lights, camera, action. Joy and I disagree on this, too. I understand celebrating. I get it. The NFL wants free social media buzz. I totally get that. But at some point, second quarter, ask Andy Reid if he loved this. That's a 15-yard penalty. You have to have rules. My knock on celebrating is ultimately it will become taunting or penalties. So how about a new rule? You can celebrate all you want inside the end zone. That's already a rule. Well, he got, he got, well, I mean, they're not going to, throw a penalty for the Lambo leap, but he got penalized because he used a prop. You know how to use a prop. Can we stop with props? Can we, st- would you like it if I, if I came on the show every day and I had a, f- 
a funny suit on and I was I had a pipe. Hey, I got I mean, props. no, not every day, but if you came in after we got our ratings and we were number one and we were thumping everybody, okay. yeah, you Who, can wear whatever you want. Chris Rock or Carrot Top? Who do you want to go watch? Hey, uh, here's a ski mask and a, a lip balm. <laughs> Props. Are you seriously cons comparing touchdown celebrations to Carrot Top right yeah, now? Yeah, I am. Okay. That's a prop. We have gone off the rails. <laughs> All right. Redskins, Buccaneers. Yeah, I didn't watch it. I just didn't see the game. I don't mean to be rude, but um, the only thing, I didn't watch it. Whitlock looks at me like I have to watch all the games. I watched all the games except this one. I did not watch Washington play. Listen, here's all you need to know about this game, how bad it was. Tampa Bay had 501 yards and, and it scored three points. I picked the right game not to watch. On red zone, because they never got in the red zone, they never showed highlights. So the whole game, I watched every day yesterday. I didn't see one. I saw like a play on this game. I'm not afraid to admit it. <laughs> I just didn't watch it. All right, Dolphins, Packers. The other Aaron. Do you know that Aaron Rodgers is 42 and 11 when you ask him to throw fewer than 30 times? This Aaron Jones kid is electric. Green Bay, why didn't you play him sooner? My only guess is he's a rookie, and it took him a while to get the pass blocking schemes down because this kid's a right. He is a dynamic player. And Aaron Rodgers, even Aaron Rodgers, needs a running game. Aaron Jones yesterday, 9.7 yards per rush. He's a talent. Jags Colts. Can't touch luck. Colts haven't allowed a sack in four straight games. He's second in the NFL in touchdown passes. When you consider, when you consider what he has to work with offensively, they still, Marlon Max, their running back. They have good tight ends, but that's about it. I got a bunch of games left, but let me just do one more. Playmakers on three. That quarterback scored a touchdown in his first four drives. The other quarterback, not quite aspiring, did not score four touchdowns on his first four drives. Playmakers on three doesn't get you fired up? <laughs> no, it does not.